In this project, I'm going to show you how you can make a custom gamepad using Cherry MX switches. So this project idea was actually inspired by Pseudorandom Episode 4. Cherry MX switches are those really nice buttons that are found in most gaming keyboards, and they have this really nice, satisfying click. There's lots of options for standard keyboards, but I don't think I've seen a dedicated gamepad. The Adafruit Feather 32U4 Bluefruit Elite is great for this project because it features Bluetooth low energy and it has a built-in LiPo charger so we can recharge a battery over USB. So we'll only need a few parts to build this project, all of which you can find in the tutorial linked below. I designed a custom PCB in Eagle CAD so that I could easily connect the switches to the Adafruit Feather without having to wire everything together. You can watch my full tutorial by clicking on the top right card or link in the description. I used the other Mill Pro CNC machine to make the board. FR1 single-sided material has this thin layer of copper which is ideal for making traces on a PCB. But if you don't have access to a CNC machine, you could use a service like Oshpark to fabricate your design, which actually produces much higher quality PCBs, but the other Mill Pro does make nice prototypes in a fraction of the time. We'll start the circuit by installing the headers onto the Adafruit Feather. I find it much easier to solder headers if you have it fixed to a breadboard first. That way all the pins are nice and true. Then we can solder all of the pins to the headers. I ended up removing the plastic joiners from the headers because this allowed me to mount the Adafruit Feather flush with the PCB. And this was necessary for creating proper clearances once I mounted to the enclosure. I then inserted the header pins from the Adafruit Feather onto the non-copper side of the PCB and made sure the two were flush. Now I can secure the PCB to a vise with the copper side facing up. I first soldered the pins on all four corners so that it would stay in place, then soldered all of the signals. I made sure to trim all the pins short using a pair of flush cutters. Next I can start mounting the Cherry MX switches to the board and use mounting tack to temporarily hold them in place while I solder. Then I flip the board over and solder the two pins from the switches. I repeated this process for the other buttons, but before soldering the last switch, I need to connect the LiPo battery and wire in a slide switch so I can power the circuit on and off. I'll need two wires to connect the slide switch to the Adafruit Feather. I used wire strippers to remove insulation from the tips and tin them by adding a bit of solder. I only need two of the three leads on the slide switch. Then I can tin and solder the two wires to the leads. I hooked up one wire to ground and the other to the enable pin on the Adafruit Feather. Plug in the LiPo battery and now I have a switch that can power the circuit on and off. To wrap up the circuit, I installed the last Terry Mech switch and soldered the remaining pins to the PCB. And that's pretty much it, now we have our completed circuit. I drew up an enclosure in Fusion 360 and designed some custom keycaps so that I can print them in different colors. I put together a layer by layer tutorial as well so you can check that out again in the top right card or link down below. I 3D printed the enclosure using the Sigma 3D printer from BCN3D. But if you don't have access to a 3D printer, you could always use a service like 3D Hubs to make it for you. I used PLA material to 3D print the parts and they didn't require any support material. After the parts are finished, I can then fit the circuit into the enclosure. I designed a little holder so that I could easily mount the slide switch in the enclosure. I used mounting tack to secure the LiPo battery right next to the slide switch. And now I can place the top cover over the circuit. I designed the two pieces to snap fit together so they don't require any machine screws. Lastly, I can fit the 3D printed keycaps onto each of the Cherry MX switches. For the software, I used the Arduino IDE to program the Adafruit Feather. And with help from Hitatch, we put together a simple sketch that uses the Bluefruit library to make the Adafruit Feather appear as a HID keyboard. The code is up on GitHub so you can download it and use it in your projects. I think this is a really cool project because it uses both CNC milling and 3D printing to make a custom project. Hey, if you like this project, be sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out our other projects for more 3D printing and electronics. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more projects from Adafruit every week.